5% pitch that we had here was 29 years old. And I'd say the last 10 years or so, we've been struggling um, during the winter months with the drainage. So there's been a need for it um, for quite a while. We were, it, it was necessary, it needed to be done. So the old pitch was uh, constructed in around about 1994, um, ahead of the Euros that we held here in 1996. Uh, I joined the club in 2005. It was an old fibre sand pitch, um, lateral drains in, in gravel bands, uh, non-gravel non carpet, um, fibre sand top, four inch fibre sand top, but the actual root zone itself was a pretty poor quality. So uh, that's all been removed. We've removed uh, 7,000 tonnes of old material and replaced it with, uh, with what's going on behind us now. Um, a brand new construction with um, all new drainage, all new irrigation, all new undersoil heating, uh, a gravel raft, and then uh, a sand lower root zone and an upper root zone. It's, it's in construction. We're about three and a half weeks in, um, about two and a half weeks away from uh, seeing seed in the ground. So the old pitch, um, during wet weather, we constantly had to try and vertically drain. Uh, and then there was days where trying to remove water from the pitch um, a day or or on the day of a match was challenging. Um, you know, forking holes, squeegeeing water off the field. To get the games played, we tried all sorts of, uh, of methods, pro pouring, verti draining, uh, and just generally hoping for the best really. And we had a few games where, where the pitch was, was not really fit for the standard of football that we want to play here. So the new pitch is going to be a, a, a cis hybrid. So uh, given time, once that's, uh, the, the grass knits into the cis and, and, it, and the, the new root zone compacts to where we need it to be, the new surface will be uh, a lot better than what we've had here in the past. Uh, the management of it is going to be different. Um, it's going to take a lot more water. So it's going to need a lot more irrigation. Um, it's going to need a lot more treatments, a lot more fertilizers. And it's going to be, have to be managed in a different way. Uh, but it's something that uh, we'll be in control of rather than uh, you know, worrying about the weather forecast. We'll be able to work with whatever the weather forecast comes our way. And um, it, should be, it should be a lot easier to manage in terms of we'll be, we'll be more in control. Um, obviously, it's, it's an expensive project. So uh, being in the Premier League, um, it's helped with the finances to, to, to help uh, to, to um, facilitate that. But um, also the, the value of the players uh, and, and the style of football that we play here, uh, the pitch has to be up to standard. Um, and hopefully this new surface will be up there with the best. Um, obviously um, the players train a lot so uh, there's a lot of demand on, on the ground staff uh, um, getting training sessions on um, all through the week and um, the training ground we've had two training pitches built by Abbott's last last season which uh, are heavy used and the ground staff are, are working quite quite a lot of hours down there to, uh, to maintain and to facilitate the first team training. Yeah we've got a nine-man team uh, all work really hard. I've got a fantastic deputy head in uh, Jack Farmer, who's in charge of, of the training facility. Uh, we talk on a daily basis and uh, I'll go down and see Jack from time to time and see how they're getting on. But uh, they, Jack runs the training ground um, on a day-to-day -day basis with fertilising, spraying, marking, mowing with his team of five grounds from down there. And I work mainly in the stadium with, uh, with my team of three. And um, we come together on match days and we also help each other out as and when we need to. Uh, we share equipment from site to site and um, when, we, when we're able to, we will, you know, we'll, we'll go down and help them out and they come up and help us out as well. So we're a good team and uh, we've got a mix, uh, mix of some really good guys and uh, we get on really well, so it's a good, good team environment. We're over two sites, but we're only a mile and a half down the road. So, uh, it's not difficult for, for staff to go from site to site. 
and uh, it's also nice to get a change of scenery, change of environment and, uh, and go down to the training ground from time to time. The ownership here uh, has been in place for about seven or eight years and the investment has been great under, under the new ownership. Um, they've they've uh, bought us some new machines and um, obviously now we're on our third new pitch um, in the last two years. We had two new training pitches last year uh, and now we're, we're investing into the stadium pitch as well. So uh, the support we've had from the ownership here has been great. Now we've had we've had uh, quite a few machines for the new training ground. It's you know it's not just about the the actual pitch itself. We've had new mowers, we've had new tractors, we've had new vertic drains, we've had new sprayers. Um, the investment over the whole club has, has been has been huge. Um, there's been a lot of work on on buildings, uh, first team areas. Um, so yeah, since beginning the Premier League as well, we've had a lot of work done in the stadium, getting ready for the Premier League, the TV cables the gantry, the dressing rooms. There's been a lot of investment and a lot of work carried out over the club over the last few years, and uh, that work continues. Um, there's still plenty happening all over the club.